Good morning, welcome to my site. My name is Murph, and this is Prog Monster, where we like to discuss albums from the past and recent past, rock albums, that is. Um, I prefer progressive music, that's one of my, that is my favorite genre, but I also like things like pop music, uh, heavy metal, hard rock, um, some bluesy stuff, blues rock, rhythm and blues, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, we're here today to discuss recent history and to uh, kind of discuss this particular album, which is the Who's Who album, which came out in 2019. It's the most recent Who album. Um, the last one was in 2006, which was at North Wire. This one is a great album. It stacks up against anything the Who's put out, in, in my opinion. Um, and that's what we're here to talk about is just the things we like. It's not necessarily, you know, maybe the best selling album of all time or um, has the greatest impact in people's lives and stuff like that. But um, it's, a, it's a really good album and deserves to be talked about. So today that's what I'm going to do. Talk about this album. Okay, it, it, this album features Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey. Pretty much those are the... The surviving members of the Who, these two guys here. Um, Roger Daltrey's voice is much better on this album than it was on Endless Wire, I think. Uh, I don't know what his issue was on Endless Wire. It just seemed, sounds kind of really rough on that album. Where here, it sounds much more like what Roger Daltrey I've come to know and love as. Pete Townsend wrote almost everything on this album except for one track that his brother Simon wrote. And uh, really good lyrics. Uh, the music is really catchy. There's some good riffs on here. Uh, just like, and you know, a lot of the songs tell stories about the Who as they progressed along. Really, just a really solid album. Um, Zach Starkey is on the album playing drums on some tracks. Um, there's a few other notable things, but for me, the, the cover is really good too. It shows little bits and cuts pieces of history. I um, you know, there's a picture up here of uh, uh, legendary uh, Chuck Berry, the guitar player. Uh, Muhammad Ali here, uh, right there. The flag. There's a few other things on here. And then, of course, there's this thing called the Detours, which the album may end up take that name at some point, but I just call it the Who album. Um, Self-titled Who album. It's got um, 11 tracks in total, I believe, on the album. Uh, just just really solid music. And I'm just going to put it, uh, insert back in so I can talk about the album a bit now and the music on it. Okay, uh, we'll start out by talking about... I need my glasses for this. Um, I listened to this album a lot, and I've listened to it a lot more lately. It's really, really come into its own for me. Um, the first track, All This Music Must Fade, that is a classic Who song, if ever there was one. Uh, it just has a real catchy beat. Um, and Dolce's voice is great on it. Um, it's probably, I don't know if it's my favorite track on the album, but it's pretty close if it isn't. Ball and Chain, the second track, really good. I, I love this song. I don't want to get wise. This is the song. It kind of talks about um, the who as they got older and older. They didn't want to lose that kind of rebel kind of punk image that they kind of started in the 60s. Um, but, you know, as, as it happens, like they're both in their 70s now. So, you know, just tells the story about how they tried to avoid that. But, you know, eventually you got to get smarter as you go along, right? Uh, Detour, I love this song. It's it's kind of in the same vein as that one. Um, just talking about how they were moving along, going up, and then kind of went off on detours on different things and eventually got back on track. Really great track. Uh, the next song, Beads on One String, I love this song. It could be my favorite. Currently, it's the one I listen to the most. Uh, Beads on One String, it's just about... Um, about war and how we, you know, we we need to 
you know, talk, uh, sit down and be more tolerant of each other and not always looking for reasons to kill each other, you know, and just, just a great, great kind of track that way. Hero Ground Zero, great, great track, pretty much explains itself. The Secret Song, I like that, it's a little bit quieter than some of the others, but really, really catchy. I'll be back. I believe uh, this is. Yes, this is the song. This is the song that Pete sings on, and his voice, of course, hasn't changed. It's still the same Pete Townsend voice. I really like that. Uh, Break the news. That's the one that Simon wrote. Uh, it's a catchy beat. It, it, it kind of reminds me of something you would find on the radio by the Who in maybe the '80s or late mid mid late um, you know their last couple albums in the 80s it's got that kind of feel for it uh rockin in rage um this is the heavier track on the album i really uh this and ball and chain are the kind of the two tracks that are kind of a bit heavier and like just chugging along i, I, I kind of dig them both of she rocked my world that's the more of a bluesy song kind of ends the album on a kind of a bluesy note I really I really like the song it's it's catchy and it, all the songs are just catchy like you just I just found myself wanting to play it more and anyways it's only been out for maybe two years a couple of years now and uh, if you're looking to get into something from an old band that you really like and you're not sure what's out there this this is a this is a good start uh, you 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 won't regret buying the album it's it's really good anyways if you like this video please let me know like it um subscribe if you would like me to do more stuff and uh, you know you have a really good day today and this is prog monster signing off <laughs>